Hello. Make sure you get out and vote against the Conservatives next month. 36 years after he lost his first federal election. Afternoon, Dump Harper, have a look. And Kim Volcario still isn't giving up. Hi there, some information about the election. This will be my 12th consecutive federal election where I've been on the ballot. That would be every federal election since 1979. Make sure you vote next month. He's 0 for 12 at getting elected for Canada's Communist okay. Party. I found my political home and I've never lost that fire for trying to make this uh, uh, a place where poor people actually have have rights and dignity. Good afternoon. There's no limit on trying over and over again and no financial penalty either, as candidates can get their $1,000 deposit back after the campaign. In federal politics, you know, you're dealing with protecting people's rights. Ontario's John Trammell takes the prize as Canada's biggest political loser, having failed to get elected a stunning 84 times. Over time, they can have some success. But this political scientist says fringe candidates, even by losing, can still win. We had the marijuana party, uh, which a very fringe party, never got more than about 0.1% of the vote, often the butt of jokes. But now, all of the major parties have had to take a position on marijuana. Some political losers eventually do become winners, among them Jack Layton. The late NDP leader lost twice running for Parliament before he finally won a seat. Former interim Liberal leader Bill Graham lost his first two runs at federal office before winning many times after that. It's a miracle. Miracles happen and happen. And most recently in PEI, the Green Party's Peter Bevan Baker's persistence paid off. He lost nine times before finally getting elected. Terry Duguid, Liberal candidate. In Winnipeg, nice Liberal Terry Duguid is hoping it's fourth time lucky. I'm not a quitter, as, uh, as, you, can, as you can see. A little info on me. Where, he where lost in Winnipeg you? South in 2004 oh, in a squeaker, and that heartbreaking well, near miss has right, kept right. him well, coming back. Uh, when you're in that kind of position of authority as an elected representative, you, you have a responsibility to your community, but you can really make a big difference. Make sure you get out and vote against the Conservatives next month. What are your hopes for this election? Is this your lucky year? <laughs> Probably not my lucky year. Afternoon, sir. Just by running and talking about his ideas, he says he's making his point. Chris Brown, CBC News, Vancouver.